guys, welcome to a special video, a continuation of my small series of when I shoot, I tell you about five units that you can USC on the JB side, or just in general, you know, maybe people in the future want to see this. So I want to say thank you everybody for the 300, 300 um, subscriber milestone, I never thought I'd even be able to reach this far, considering how small the FFB community is from for the most part on YouTube. But thank you guys for being there with me. I appreciate that. It means a lot to me that you would uh, consider subscribing to me. So, with that out of do, I'll give you guys a special video and things that you can consider you seeing in the future. So, number one, this guy right here. Now. In the beginning, when he'll be released on the global side, he's not gonna look very, he's not gonna look too exciting because his main damage is Stardust Fray Chaining, but only with water. So there was not gonna be very many options for him, but, but in the future, after he is released, there'll be a unit called CD Onion Knight. And he can do Stardust Fray Chaining with water as well. So they become, they become best friends. But in the meantime, you can use as he has 120% water imperil without any. It's not a cooldown. It's not a limit burst. It's it's right there. You can use it. So if you're using like Satan or maybe like um, Randy, for example, Randy and him would be pretty good. I mean, they don't have the same frames, but he would benefit from the imperil since he can't do it himself. <laughs> Plus, he has some other things like AoE re-raise, which makes him lower health, which means his break will be higher than his limit burst. His limit burst is pretty good as well. Um, so, in with the boss buff, you gain some really nice things like uh, LB fill rate, AoE, and also Mirage. So, pretty good unit. That's number one. Number two. Sweet Luca. Now, I personally am not a fan of her kit because there's a lot of RNG involved. There's already enough RNG, but taking into consideration, a lot of people recommended me to talk about this unit. Uh, I might as well. Her team R is insanely good for mages. Lots of HP. Mages love HP. The 30 attack, 30 magic is really uh, inconsequential when you can get that much HP in on her as well. So she's a really good support, she has Chaos Wave Chaining, uh, lots of support capabilities, so if you need a buffer support, but also has Chaos Wave Chaining, then that's that's your girl. Now here's one of my favorite units, and if she, anybody who's been watching me lately would uh, attest to this, as I have many spotlights of him, it's become kind of like a meme at this point. This guy has triple cast, at the start of battle, you can't get it afterwards, which is a, a small detriment, but he really doesn't need triple cast after the first turn. You can get pretty much everything on, everything overlapping or continuation after the first turn. The, the triple cast only allow, I mean, it allows him to get going a lot faster than if he didn't have it. He has many mitigations, he has many status buffs, he has killers, 75% killers to certain types, especially demons and human, which are really popular. This is zone burst. Don't even need to max it. 50% mitigation. Uh, I don't think I showed it here because it's only a 5 star version, but it's 50% mitigation, general mitigation, and also a very high HP barrier. So, with an LB build, like an LB cheesing build, you can get zone burst out almost every other turn, which is really nice. He has a dispel, which you can see here. This is a a dispel, like a finger snap, which is also really nice. Um, he has HP and MP buffs with stat buffs. Oh, by the way, 200% full stat buff on a cooldown ability. That's that's at a very short cooldown. It's insane, guys. It's insane. This guy is definitely the best support in the game, besides Elfim, really. But yeah, and this guy is this guy is UOCable, by the way. His TMR is garbage. Gotta be honest, his team was pretty garbage, but other than that, he's really good. So definitely you will see him. 
So that was number three. Number four. I had someone in mind. But I think I lost my... Ch I already talked about Charlotte. I already talked about her. Unfortunately, she does not have her boss buffs just yet. I had two more... Oh. Here, speaking of Elfin, I'm sure most people in Global have even heard about this by now, but she got some changes and Bard's got some changes where now uh, her one of her abilities allows her to break the boss, her enemy, rather, and also do buffs at the same time. So... She's like a standard union. A lot, many people, many people's clears. So very good unit as well. And that's number four, for sure. Definitely worth you seeing. And finally, there was one more, but I know you you might be surprised that I'm all the way at the top, and you might be scared that my hand, my feet, my uh, cursor is going towards this unit right here. You're saying you're probably saying to the screen, "Why? Why would you ever choose this guy? He's old as fuck. He's useless." But we'll be getting into that in a, in a video specifically. But um, I just want to point you guys towards this move, and uh, I'm not going to say much more than that. Other than this is a Stardust Ray chaining move that doesn't make he doesn't lose any health using this move. He actually gains health over time and MP. So. It's a very, very high modifier with Starter's Ray Chaining. It's not a finishing move. It has 10 hits. So keep that in mind, guys. Uh, and he gets a bunch of status buffs here. 50% in most stats. So definitely worth the OC if you need a damage dealer that you want to hit very hard with. His main downfall is his TMR's shit. But if you can live with that, uh, he's... Probably going to be one of the big, biggest damage dealers in most... Mo do not listen to any of the rating sites. Uh, like, Altima is not going to list this guy ever. Uh, I really doubt it. So... I know for sure that this guy is going to be, like, super good in the future. Because his mods are just super crazy. So... Well, I'll talk about that in another video. So... That's number five, right? We got Dark Knight Cecil. We talked, we talked about Elfim, talked about Sweet Luca, talked about our, uh, him, Regis, and the fifth. I'm drawing a blank. It's really, it's, it's really late at night, so I assume I talked about five. I'm pretty sure I did. Oh, block. Sorry, guys. Very tired. I want to. I just wanted to get this out because I am so excited. Having three, 300 subscribers. Thank you again, everybody. Thanks for the support, or not support, or whatever you wanted to say in my previous three pull video. Uh, that, was a, that was a bit of a nightmare, but most of you came out and just helped me and uh, make me feel a little better, so thank you for that. Uh, that's about it, guys. So hope you guys enjoyed. Five, five more units you can UFC. That's, that's 10 units in total. You can you still UFC in this game that are still up to my standards, up to my standards of very being very good. So, that being said, guys, please, if you're somehow new to the channel, please subscribe, please like, please comment what units you want to see on the UFC list, perhaps, or you're interested in the future if you're a global player, or if you're a JP player and you want to get some UOCs, uh, let me know what you guys want to UOC. Alright, guys, thanks again, and peace.